John Tugan joining us to <laughs> about uh, the new album, which actually the new album, uh, Old Gods, uh, you've had to delay the release of it. Because no one can work in the warehouse and send uh, send any um, material, like any of the physical units out to, to the shops or anything. So so literally we've had to go, yep, yeah, nah, we'll just wait for four weeks until hopefully, hopefully uh, things get under control. I guess the question that everyone wants to know was where and how did you record this when all of that was going on? Was it... Uh, compartmentalized you were doing it from different parts of the world or did you manage to get into a space uh, there were rumors of a luxurious getaway in the hinterland of uh, of, <laughs> of Victoria where, where did you do it and how did you do it well basically we managed to get through uh, the border between Victoria and New South Wales because the, the studio was in Gosford uh, which is about mm, an hour away from Sydney in the sort of tropical bit um, uh, at a studio that used to be owned by Gary Gary Bears Bears from In Excess, who sold it to well, yes. he had to give it to his wife and his third wife in a in a divorce settlement, which she sold to Hillsong, you know, the evangelical church. So they yeah. sort of cleaned out all the demons, and then uh, they sold it to <laughs> <laughs> and they sold it to um to, to, no, to, yeah, no to Universal, <laughs> a guy from Universal Records who's turned it into this amazing. You can live there, and it's just incredible place um that it's just, it's just great so so like water dragons walking around and and stuff like that which are basically these huge lizards uh which won't let you get yeah. too but they're cool uh brown snakes which i sort of stayed away from because i'm not, not really as cool snake. yeah not as cool uh but we managed to just like hunker down I, I we got through the day they closed the border between victoria and new south wales my U, my uber was to the airport was 388 dollars <laughs> <laughs> because it was a high demand a high demand part of the thing yeah, i like everyone racing to the border to get out of there 388 bucks my my flight was half that cost man it was like <laughs> was it a different process to uh to what you'd normally go through because i guess that is the that is the ultimate being able to record in a place stay in situ uh when you look back on all of the albums that you've recorded uh was that your favorite if not which one do you reckon would have been your favorite in terms of how you how you put them all together and and the I guess it's probably trying to pick your best pick your favorite kit, isn't it? Well usually, I mean like even like sort of like um, you know, when we did General Electric, we'd be in Vancouver, but we'd be we wouldn't be staying at the the actual hotel I mean the studio would be staying at a hotel somewhere. So um so this one was great because we were living on on the um in the in the studio, you know, at a place, you know, they've got um, accommodation off the side and stuff. But we'd literally be, you know, waking up and we're straight in the studio and just working on music. And because we'd done a bit of prep with um, Adam Spark, the guy from Birds of Tokyo who produced the, the record, who also produced our version of I Got You the year before, um, we all knew each other. We're all sort of like similar sort of mind about things and, and uh, knew what we wanted to do. So we were all really determined to make sure that the demos that we'd made were like, boom, just like bigger versions of that. So, and I think we'd done a really good job and Adam Spark smashed it out of the park. It sounds, it's my favourite sounding she hard record, which is totally weird, considering you know I, I we did it when I was forty nine years old, which is bizarre. <laughs> Johnny, just before we wrap things up, would you like to say a message to all of the she had fans of? Um, listened over years and years, purchased the albums. I think you guys now share the New Zealand record for the most number one albums with Hayley Westenra. When this gets released on the 24th of September, you're about to knock her off. Boof! <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know, man. All I know is we've made a, this really, really solid, you know, focus album and i'm so proud of it and i can't wait for people to hear it man yeah bryce casey is going to punch us both in the face if we don't ask if there is going to be a vinyl release of this because he is uh, uh the plastic surgeon if you will he uh he collects it are we doing vinyl yes there is and not only that there's three different versions so like there's a black yeah. vinyl there's a red uh, marbled vinyl and a gold marbled vinyl and the gold marbled vinyl is the, the most limited one yeah Sweet as we put ourselves one each, mate, and uh, we'll go carry on from there. <laughs>